guys, it is 8 o'clock now, and by this time, one more in the morning, Matt has left for work, and put Indy in bed with me, so normally when he leaves for work, he goes ahead and lets her out for the morning, and then comes and puts her in bed with me, so right now, we're cuddling, she can't get comfortable in the mornings, like, ever. So, I am going to be showing you guys my morning routine, especially with a new puppy. So, that is the video I'm going to be filming today, but I literally just woke up, clearly. I look terrible, so I need to get up and start my day right now. Okay, guys, when I get out of bed, I take Indy and I let her out to go potty. Go potty! Still in my slippers and my PJs. And she'll go potty. Go potty. No stretch. Come on. No, ma'am. Come on. girl okay guys so now that i've taken indy out and used the bathroom myself i normally go ahead and feed indy so that i can kind of start fixing all this i'm gonna wash my face and brush my teeth after i feed her you hungry so this is the dog food that we feed indy yeah so i'm going to get some of this and put it in her bowl She's, she already knows what's coming. <laughs> she starts feeding it like literally right away. She has this little thing in it. It's a slow feeder to help her not eat as fast. And then I'm gonna put some water in her bowl. Okay, now that I fed Indy, I am going to wash my face and brush my teeth. Sorry, the bad angle. It's the only way I'm about to set my camera. But I start my morning off by washing my face with this. I'm gonna do that real quick. I like to finish out my little morning like face wash routine kind of thing with this moisturizer especially now my nose is peeling because we went to the beach and I had some burnt so I'm going to add some moisture back to my dry skin Now that I am done with my skincare routine, I'm just gonna brush my hair out.
Okay. I'm done with my skincare and brushing my teeth for the morning. Now, around this time, Indy is normally done eating, so I'm gonna go check on her. Okay, guys, she's still kind of eating. She kind of walked away when I came over here, but she's still kind of eating. You wanna finish your food for mom? Hmm? Let's see if she'll finish it. Okay, guys, so by now, Indy has ate most of her food. She didn't eat it all, but. She'll normally go back and finish it off. So normally around this time is when I sit down on the floor with Indy and just kind of play with her, play with her toys and kind of get some of her energy out for the morning. And then after that, I normally take her out to use the bathroom again. And then I will start with more of my morning routine. But for now, I'm going to play with Indy for a little bit and kind of get some of her morning energy out. Give it to me. What about your goat? You want your mountain goat? She loves that thing. Her new toy I got her at the beach. <laughs> Honestly, some dogs don't like playing with toys. This dog loves playing with toys. She'll like take all the toys that are in her crate for the night or from the night and bring them all out. And she'll take all the toys that are in that basket over there and bring them all out. Hmm. To you. I'm freezing. Yeah, Andy. And then she'll normally pile on my lap and lay down. Yep, there she goes. Good girl. So we'll spend the next like 10, 15 minutes playing and giving rubs and stuff like that. And then I'll probably take her out again. So that's what we're doing now. Okay guys, around this time of play, Indy has made her way onto the couch for her morning nap. <laughs> she loves laying on that pillow right there in the couch. Look at her. Are you a cute floof? Hmm. So now I think I am going to get up and kind of start doing stuff for myself. I need to let her out real quick and then I think I'm either going to make my bed or start making breakfast. So. We'll see which one I decide to do. As you just saw, I just made my bed. My Indy had tried to make my bed every morning. Just kind of makes me feel better about my day. So I just made my bed and now I think I'm going to go make some breakfast. Okay guys, for breakfast this morning, I'm going to be making the Kodiak cakes in dark chocolate flavor and then i'm going to be adding some more chocolate chips because i like mine really chocolatey and as well as nutella on top because i do not like maple syrup on my pancakes and then i'm gonna try and see if we have any strawberries in the fridge but i'm going to make this right now for breakfast Okay guys, now that I have ate breakfast, I am going to change out of my PJs and I am going to put on some clothes and I'm going to take Indy for a walk real quick. I try to walk Indy twice a day, so depending on if I'm at work or 
you know, whatever. Sometimes she might not get two walks a day, but I try to walk her twice a day. And normally we start with our first one in the morning, right when we wake up. So I'm going to do that right now. I found that walking Indy at a young age and starting her off like on a harness and leash really young. And as soon as I got her has really helped her walking. Like she doesn't really pull that bad. She's very good on a leash for her age. So if you are getting a new puppy anytime soon, I recommend that you start automatically like putting them on in a harness and a leash. I don't really like using a collar because they tend to pull so then you're choking them, but use a harness and a leash from an early age and they will be a lot better walker um, a lot earlier too. So I am going to change and then we will walk her. Okay guys, so I have put some real clothes on. I just kind of have what I'm gonna wear to work later because I actually have work today at two o'clock. So now I am going to put Indy's harness and leash on and we are going to go for a walk. Come here. She's very lazy if you can't tell. I'm on. Ah, gotta buckle it. <laughs> Look at her, she looks miserable. I promise you she's not. We do this every day. Tighten these. I have to like re-tighten them because they come on loose every time we walk. Okay, and now I've got this really cute leash I found at TJ Maxx for $6.99. Okay, now she's ready. Now I am going to grab my hair. Grab a poop bag because, you know, you got to pick up after your dog and head for the walk. Okay, guys, so we're out here walking. I live in a town area, so we have sidewalks. So I just walk her up and down the sidewalks every morning. Like I said, she's pretty good at walking with me. She doesn't try to pull too much just maybe when she gets a little excited or sees a bird or a bunny because good lord she loves to chase bunnies so we just kind of walk and this is our little morning she loves going on walks and seeing people and all that kind of stuff come on so yeah i'm going to walk her now and then i'll catch up with you guys when we get done we just got back from our walk now i'm gonna give indy some more water, she got grass in that. I'm gonna rinse it out. Push in my water. <laughs> this dog, fun fact about my dog, she drinks more water. Sit. Good girl. She drinks more water than any dog ever. And now, since I'm back from my walk and I'm thirsty, I am going to fill up my hydro flask and start my day by drinking water. I like to do that, so I'm going to do that real quick. That's better. So now, Put that here and I'm going to get some water out of the fridge. Perfect. So now I can drink out of my hydro flask and get enough water in for the day. So I'm going to start drinking my water. Now that I have walked Indy and I've got my water, she's back there chomping on an ice cube. If you hear her, that's what she's doing right now. I wanted to sit down and debrief a little bit on my morning and Indy and everything like that. So basically this is my like summer morning routine. This is what I do in the mornings when I don't have to really rush or do anything or go anywhere. I definitely don't do this every morning because every morning I don't get up at eight and like take my time because I do like to sleep in. Especially since, you know, in college you have to get up early and start your day and stuff. I like to kind of sleep in during the summer, but I've gotten in the habit of getting up around 8, 830, especially with Indy now. She doesn't really allow me to sleep in and she has got this ice cube like at my butt. It's going to get my pants wet. Stop. It's gone. It's gone. You ate it all. But yeah, with the puppy, you can't. Oh, nope. I found it. I was, I was sitting on it. Here. Get it. 
like I was saying, with a puppy, you can't really sleep in. Like, they don't really sleep in. I mean, they take naps, but they have to wake up and go outside and use the bathroom. So, with her, I don't really get to sleep in as much. But I kind of enjoy getting up early and starting my day. So, normally, on a day like this, I'll get up, let her out, feed her, and then kind of start my routine. You have to understand when you get a puppy that your needs come, you know, behind someone else's. Like, you're not number one anymore. Like, what you want is on the back burner. I have to tend to her needs before I can tend to my own needs, which I don't mind doing. I love having her. I love having a dog. So, it's not that bad, but if you're considering getting a dog, you need to understand that your needs are second and her needs are first. So, that is kind of how it is living with a puppy, but also, Indy is now 15 weeks old. She turned 15 weeks old last, no, not last, yesterday. Today is Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday, so she turned 15 weeks old Saturday, and she is now 26 pounds. She is a big girl. She's going to be huge, but I like a big dog, so I don't care. But yeah, that's a little update on Indy. She's doing pretty good on potty training. She has a very sensitive stomach, we're learning, that she can't really, like, eat a bunch of different treats because they upset her stomach, and she gets diarrhea really bad. It's kind of gross, but we're trying to figure out, like, what goes best with her tummy because it is pretty sensitive. But yeah, that is about all that I have to update you guys on about Indy and a little bit about my morning. Like you saw, I like to make my bed every morning, get my day started really well, and I try to make breakfast in the mornings because, you know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. A lot of times I don't eat breakfast just because my stomach personally can't handle a big meal in the morning. But that protein pancake that you saw is one of my favorite things to eat in the morning and it's good for you. Like it has protein in it. So I like to start my day off with a good breakfast and stuff like that. And then obviously exercise with walking Indy or going to the gym. I really enjoy walking Indy. I think walks with your dog are a really good time to think and reflect on your day and kind of plan out your day. I really enjoy my walks with Indy. So right now, the last thing I'm going to do for my morning, I think it is like 10.22. Hold my little clock back there. It says 10.22. So it's still early. Well, it's not early. It's still the morning time. So now I'm going to put on some makeup, do my little like five, 10 minute makeup routine for work and then probably straighten my hair and I'll come back with you guys. Okay guys, I am done with my makeup. You can't really see, but I just want to show you guys how Indy lays when I get ready. You see her? She likes to lay like right near me and take a nap. It is 10.40 now. This is her second nap of the day. Yeah. Okay guys, I am back in the same little spot that I was in before, but this time I have my makeup done and my hair straightened. I just did a quick little easy and simple like makeup routine, I guess you can tell. Like just a little bit of base and then some mascara just for work. I go into work today at 2 and it is now 10.49, so my morning is almost over. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little summer morning routine. As you see, my mornings also revolve a lot around Indy. I mean, my whole day does, but especially the morning time. So if you're looking for a new puppy or wanting to get a new puppy, you definitely need to consider that your morning and your day revolves around them, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I would love it if you'd subscribe down below and stick around for more videos for me this summer as well as leave me in the comments down below some video suggestions that you want to see this summer and i'll make sure to get them out for you guys so i love you have a great day and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys